Hello, my beautiful dumplings, and welcome back. You know, I knew this day would come. I knew this day would come soon, and mentally I was preparing for it, but I think I did a pretty shoddy job at that, so... Here I am in a mixing pot of emotions. I don't know what to think and to feel. Um, and I still haven't really figured out how I wish to properly express myself regarding the situation, but that's not going to stop me from talking out my hindquarters um, as to how I feel regardless. So for those of you that are confused as to what I'm talking about, um, Join the club. I'm also confused and I have no idea what I'm talking about. But what I can and will tell you is that I'm going to be reacting to BTS's yet to come MV. Now, full disclosure, I'm not going to lie to you. I already watched it. <laughs> I wanted to film this reaction video a while, like when this first dropped, but it was an insanely busy time in terms of work and life. So I couldn't do it then, and I don't think it's fair to ask me to wait on my old group for multiple days and not react and not see such an iconic music video for reasons which we will get into later. So I'm sorry I jumped the gun, I watched it. Um, I didn't absorb it in my defense, I did not absorb it. I didn't, like, I just deep dove right into it, got it out of my went, went, phew. And then, you know, went back to browsing TikTok without fear of spoilers. So I'm going to be watching this fully and actually paying attention to the song on camera. Um, also, obviously, I have heard the album. I have heard the new tracks. So just as a preface, like, I don't want to pretend like I haven't, like, I don't know what's going on. I just want to, you know, I wanted to do this reaction later because I also wanted to talk about a few things after that. So. Clearing the air, don't cancel me, don't come for me, I'm being honest and upfront, and I think that's all I can offer at this point in time, so. All right, so let's get into it. Let's hope that Hyde lets me actually post this one, because, you know, they've given me headaches, both of us, headaches with being able to actually post content for copyright reasons, so hopefully this one goes through. And if not, then you'll be hearing from me in like six months when they finally let me post, so starting Was it honestly the best? Cause I just wanna see the next Push it on each in the oh I did so get to my end of game Yeah the past was honestly the best But my best is what comes next I'm not playing now for sure Can that young head to me back to game You and I best moment is yet to come Honestly, I should not be watching this with lyrics. I'm getting emotional, especially now that there's more context to the lyrics. Which I will touch on. I 
There's a reason I didn't want to film reaction the first time around. And yet, here I am. When I said I didn't know what to feel, I really meant it. Um, uh, mm, okay, I don't even know what to say. My mind is blank, no thoughts, only emotions and trying not to cry on camera. The first time I watched it, I kind of interpreted it a little differently. Like obviously I watched it with the lyrics on, um, but this was kind of before context came out. So first time around I was like oh this is like such a sweet song you know they're talking about um all the stuff they've done to date their you know like accomplishments and how they've managed to you know build such a loving and strong fandom and then just kind of saying like oh wait wait we're not done yet like you you think you know you think we've hit the top we haven't like you ain't seen nothing yet basically um but now, you know, a few days later, after we've gotten more news on the situation and watching this through a second time, it's uh, like, I'm like, I feel like I'm stupid for not seeing it the first time because, and like, I'm sure most of you know, but I'm, I'm, there's probably some of you that didn't, but for context, um, BTS did recently announce that they're going to be essentially taking a break from promoting as all seven members of BTS and like pursuing solo projects in the meantime, which, you know, um, is nice because they haven't really done that. Like, obviously, they've put out some solo stuff, you know, like Sugar's got his hold, like august d side gig you know j-hope has a few albums and you know they've released some mixtapes and collaborated on songs with other artists but like no it seems like they're going to be focusing on their like solo careers at least from my interpretation they're going to be focusing on solo careers um kind of away from bts and though i'm sure they're just going to be you know half their songs are just going to be you know Jungkook feet like you know Suga of BTS or like you know J-Hope feet V-Min or something like that you know it's like I'm sure they're gonna be collaborating with one another all the time but still um I think this is the first time that they're actively being like BTS as a whole collective of seven is now you know needs a deserved time out and they're going to be exploring themselves as solo artists so uh, about the MV itself, 
like obviously it's beautifully done like we know that they're like master lyricists we know they're master producers we know that they know how to write impactful music and that they know how to express themselves through their music and watching it through especially the second time around that really really rings true because you know they're very honest in how they talk to us like the lyrics are fully like you know like oh like you know everybody keeps thinking we're this big deal but like really we're just a bunch of guys who enjoy music and you guys everybody thinks we're so amazing and like yeah like i guess we've done great things but like is this it like uh we don't think this is it like we think there's still more to accomplish um and you know like everything to date has been great and you know we are so appreciative and so grateful that we've come this far but like we still have more to give which essentially is what's happening um right now now that we have more context so regarding my feelings about the whole situation um obviously i'm sad uh that one of my well, one of my old group is taking a back seat for the time being like of course i love them i miss them um i've been really excited for all their new stuff like i love seeing them in like mainstream media I love talking to new people about them. I love seeing, you know, fellow fans and interacting and building friendships through all of that. But also at the same time, it's like, these guys need a break. Like it's been so many years of them being consistent and pumping out new content and new music. And really like, have they ever gotten a break? They objectively, they haven't. Like, yes, they've gone on vacations and yes, they've you know taking pauses and done stuff but like they've never really fully gotten a mental break like i wouldn't be surprised if some of them are actually looking forward to military service uh and obviously i don't know anything about that or how idols generally feel about military service but i i would imagine that at least some of them on the top levels of stardom kind of look forward to it in a way because you as an idol especially if you're a big name you can never be yourself like you can never really fully relax and break away from the media because even if you're on hiatus anywhere you go you are still you and just your existence and you walking down the street or getting a coffee is going to be a big deal because you are you um i feel like idols that are in the military at least get a break because they're you know, okay, yes, they're still celebrities, yes, people still know who they are, but they are still stripped down to the level of, you know, their fellow cadets or whatever level they're at. Like, they still have to follow a chain of command. Like, they, to my knowledge, don't get royalty treatment. Like, they're kind of on the same level as everyone else. You know, obviously, the public isn't, or paparazzi, like, nobody's allowed on the bases. So, they do get a break from that. Like, Nobody's snapping pictures of them, to my knowledge, because I think even, again, their fellow cadets, soldiers, whatever, I don't think they have cell phone access all the time. So I think, like, there's no, like, opportunity to kind of have their privacy invaded. So, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if they look forward to that in a way to just, you know, exhale, be like, you know what, like, for once in my life, or, like, for the first time in, like, seven years, I can sit down, like, unbutton my pants, like, have a cup of tea and, like, just not do anything without having to have someone hover and be like oh my god like unbutton pant you know what i mean so anyways i'm i'm getting off topic but i think that yeah like i think it's well well overdue for them to kind of get a break from being bts and you know having to carry that on their shoulders because again as bts we know they're not just a k-pop group like Yes, they had the same beginnings as most K-pop groups, but unfortunately right now they are the definition of K-pop for a lot of people who don't know what K-pop is. And that's a huge responsibility, like on a global spectrum. And again, K-pop community is different. Yes, there are other artists that have been iconic prior. There are other groups making big splashes. Yes, a thousand percent. We're not discrediting anyone. I'm not like they're deserving in their own right but on a global scale right now 
BTS is kind of the one like Santa carrying the K-pop title on their back for everyone that isn't exposed to K-pop as a whole or unfamiliar with the genre to begin with. So that's a lot of pressure for a group of seven dudes who just like to make music. Like it's in their song. Like they just, they're just a bunch of guys who like music, who appreciate their craft, who like one another. And you know, they didn't expect to become this big. They never planned to become this big. It just kind of happened. Now they're essentially stuck you know, carrying this like K-pop crown and scepter and, you know, having every action of theirs reflect on the industry, be it positively or negatively. So it's a lot, it's a lot, it's a big burden, especially if, you know, they're young, like, you know, they've been in the limelight for so long for pretty much their entire adult lives. Like, like Cookie grew up in this, you know, and he's, God, like a I don't, he's never known a life outside of BTS, like, his, him as an adult has been shaped by the group and the media, like, you know, the kid debuted at 15 years old, like, how is he gonna find the time to figure out who he is and what he wants and whatever, when there's, you know, expectations of the company, there's expectations of the fans, there's expectations of the country, the, the world, like, a, there's just, anyways, there's so much don't want to get into that but yes well-deserved break from group activities i'm glad that they're getting a chance to focus on their solo stuff because obviously you know they haven't gotten a chance to fully explore themselves as solo artists and you know tying in with my point about cookies like you've been writing music that has to suit the group and it's been going well like you know the lyrics everything like it's been phenomenally done and successful of course but it's not always a full reflection of who they are because at the end of the day, like there's six other people you have to consider when you're putting out a song, right? Like something that you yourself want to do, maybe people will incorporate those ideas, but you know, you can't like steamroll everyone to get what you want. So, you know, definitely not the case on your own music when it's your own music and you're the one producing it and work, you know, for the most part, you're the one in charge of the decisions and representing really yourself for the most part you have a lot more flexibility so i think it's really good in that sense like i think it's much needed and i think the boys really deserve that and could benefit from that but i am very sad <laughs> um so i'm happy i'm sad i feel a lot of things um obviously this is not the end to bts we all know that they're not done they're not it's not over, they're not breaking up, they're not, you know, doing a whole, <laughs> let's call on a break when actually like all they intend to do is break up with you and they're just like delaying the inevitable. No, it doesn't really feel that way. It just feels more like a, not like a goodbye, kind of like a see you later. And honestly, like I kind of saw it coming because when they mentioned that Proof was going to be kind of an anthology and they were just going to be kind of re-spicing up their top favorite tracks and then just throwing in a couple new ones i was like you know what this kind of feels like a like a chapter close um somehow and i didn't know what that chapter close would signify like i didn't know if they'd be like actually you know we're all enlisting you know see you in a few years or you know be like you know let's retire while we're on high so uh, peace out army it's been good like i didn't really know how to take it but obviously now that we have context, that's kind of what it is. It was like a, okay, well, like, let's reminisce on all the things that you loved. Here's a couple of new things. We want to, you know, give you a nice new little bit of music to keep you satiated and stay tuned for the next stuff. So, I don't know. I think they're smart about it. Um, obviously, I hope the boys aren't beat up about it. Like, I, it, it can't be easy. Like, it's a lot. <laughs> If you boys ever end up seeing this video, first of all, I'm sorry <laughs> you're subjected to this. But secondly, I just want you guys to feel like you're not letting anyone down. Don't worry about losing your fans. You know, people love you. People respect you. And most of all, I think your real fans understand and agree that this is needed and this is necessary. And we're all very much looking forward to your next projects. Um, obviously, you know, there's feelings of bittersweetness but that's not necessarily a bad thing it's more like you know when anybody sort of 
I don't know, grows up. You know, you look at your childhood and your past, you know, with kind of like a, oh, it was nice, but that doesn't necessarily mean you want to go back. It was more like you can, you can appreciate what once was without feeling like you can't be happy without that. So that's kind of where I am. Like, I'm glad that you've given us so much over the years. Um, I'm excited to see more, but, you know, I'm in no means distraught or upset or being like, why Why would you do this to me? I demand. No, like, absolutely not. I think it's well-deserved. You guys need some time. You need some space. You know, do your own thing. Figure it out. Go on vacation. Gain 30 pounds. Eat good food. Sleep. Write the music that makes you happy. You know, do the dances that make you happy. Or none at all if that's what makes you happy. Just live your life. Be yourself explore your individualities and you know we'll be here when you come back so this one ran a little little longer than usual but you know have a lot to say so i hope you guys enjoyed it um if you guys agree or don't agree or you have anything else that you want to talk about that i didn't really hit on or potentially hit on and cut out because you know controversy um definitely let me know in the comments and if you guys don't feel comfortable dms are open on both instagram and tiktok which uh can follow us right here on where we do post exclusive content and you know try to keep in touch with you guys so that's gonna be it for today and uh until next time bye